Hello guys, this is Paula J from Secure with another Hacks episode. Today we're going to learn what is Windows Prefetch and how we are able to use Windows Prefetch in forensics. First of all, in Windows Prefetch, we are able to see what kind of executables were running in the operating system. Not only those, but also with the loaded DLLs and also with the timeline. So, for example, if you've got an executable that is potentially malicious running in the operating system, from Prefetch, you are able to conclude when that situation happened. So, absolutely interesting, but for Prefetch analysis, we need appropriate tools and the method, and all of that you're going to learn in this episode. Let's dig in. One of the tools that I would like to show you, it's called CQ Prefetch Parser. And this is a tool that we are able to use to analyze Prefetch and Prefetch itself allows us to see the history of execution, various executables in the operating system. So we are able later to build a timeline, see what kind of DLLs were loaded in executables. And we are also able to see how many times that particular ex executable has actually run. So Let's just dig in and let me show you how we are able to look into prefetch files. So we've got CQ prefetch parser and the tool itself has various options. We are able to use parameter minus A for analyze. And uh, we are basically using this particular parameter to have the output on the console for the analyzed prefetch file. So we're going to use minus A and then we're going to use minus F to indicate the file. So prefetch originally it's in C Windows prefetch. So let me use for that example notepad. And it doesn't really mean that notepad.exe presented over here its original notepad as we got it in Windows operating system. That might be actually malware called notepad. So there is an option like this. And uh, when we look inside prefetch, we are able to compare original notepad uh, entry and a fake notepad entry and to see, for example, a difference in different DLLs that are loaded inside that executable. So after pressing enter, you were able to see that we've got run count one. That is already a little bit suspicious because normally notepad basically is running a couple of times. This time it's only running once. And for last executed, we're able to see that that's this particular date. Now, normally here you will be able to see the history so if the software was running like 10 times, you're going to see here uh, 10 entries representing a date and time when that executable was running. And over here, we're also able to see a little bit more information about that executable. Unfortunately, we are not able to see who was running it. Therefore, we have to correlate with some other events, like, for example, with the event log or any other like process tracking software that someone has. We can correlate that also with the USN journal, NTFS journal, and so on. But that is pretty much enough for us to see that that is or isn't original notepad because of the list of DLLs loaded. So summarizing, a CQ prefetch parser, it's a great tool to support us in a prefetch analysis while performing forensics. But don't forget that prefetch itself can be deleted if attacker has administrative privileges to that computer. Therefore, we have to use some other tools to eventually recover prefetch files to analyze them later. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you're going to download the package with the tools from this episode from our blog secureacademy.com slash blog and in order to get more episodes more information definitely please visit our blog thanks so much for watching